buddy. How you doing, my man? Good. 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 Do this? You want to yeah. take that? You want it? Yeah, go ahead. Let me take it. You got to put the kid to bed, too? What are you going to do? Well, you know, Paul, when he came up, he didn't take the trash out. That shows personality. Well, he's a city person. He yeah. doesn't understand. He is a city. Ready to do it? All right, we're back live from the shed. We're episode two. I I'm so excited about this. I can't. First of all, when I was like, "Who do you want next?" I was like, "Well, I would like this guy," and they they were, everybody was like, "Yeah," little chuckles. I was like, "Let me ask." He probably said he'll tell me to fuck off, and then we'll move on. We'll go on to I don't know. We'll get Justin Silver <laughs> or somebody. So <laughs> I asked him. I had first of all I had a get his number from somebody, from somebody, from somebody. It's like getting in touch with a fucking, uh, like a, a, a guy who murders people, like an assassin. You can't just get in touch with him directly. Um, I've known him for years, and I'm so excited to have him on the show. Ronnie B, everybody. Ron Bennington, live in my shed. Who, who said I wouldn't do your show? My head, my, my insecurities. Oh, your insecurities. Yeah, my yeah. second stepdad, Billy Manchington. <laughs> He's not going to do it, stupid, you fat fuck. Your mother's a loser. Where's your sister? I want to punch her. That guy. And, well, you got my number from Christine. You text me and I said yes. yes. It was very easy. Yes. No, it was, was almost <laughs> too easy. It yeah. was almost too easy. I was like, what the fuck's wrong with Ronnie? Like, He's he not can... doing so well yeah. anymore. Yeah, what He's happened? trying to promote. Is, is his contract up soon? <laughs> <laughs> but, but that I, I don't know how I get that reputation as somebody that uh, can't be talked to, but I do have that. You do because, and I want to talk to you about this. Yeah. I've known you for how long? Um... Eight years, yeah, at least. But Maybe probably, more. probably friendly, like cl- yeah. like closer for the last five years. Maybe, yeah. Like coming on your show and 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 you doing shows with me and right. And I I don't I don't you're not on social media. No, you're not on it. Mm-mm. I just got your number and email a week ago. Like you've never offered it. I've hinted at it too. Like I've, we've been at events together. We've done shows together. You've done my shows together, my show, and we're like, oh, it was a great night. I mean, like we yeah. had, so- and that, dude, that was awesome. Hug, all right, man. We, I, we should talk. What do you? What would you have wanted to do? What is this extra? I mean, doing the shows is more than most people in life get to experience, right? So what are we gonna do? Go to a fucking TGI Fridays? What extra thing is there? What is it? <laughs> yeah, listen, it's not. I'm not saying I would call you. Right. Look, I'm looking for a, a father figure. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I'm doing. Yeah. I think the fact that we, I ne- you never gave me your number. Look, it didn't bug me, bug me like fuck. But I was like, all right, he just doesn't do that. But it did. It, I did think about it. Like, maybe Ronnie, you know, like doesn't like me. Maybe he likes other people. You know that, like you even know, like, where do I go to get his number? I don't yeah. do a lot of social stuff. Yeah. Because I'm an adult. No, your kid goes out and plays with other kids, and that's sweet. Yeah. But do we, me and you, need to do anything more than a show? That's the best thing that you can do. It, it's, I mean, it, it, it's so funny you say that. For, yeah. First of all, before we get into this, I, I want to smoke some. Go- this okay. is one of my favorite things about you: is you're a fucking cigar nut. Yeah, you're a cigar aficionado. <laughs> That's what they called you on Wikipedia. Can I tell you the truth? Yeah. I uh, smoke cigars the same way the guy at the junkyard does. If there's a cigar, I smoke it, but I don't sit around and worry about it. You don't even think about it? No. You cut it, bite it, light cut it. Cut it, yes, exactly what I do. That's what happens to people who start, you start smoking out, you have to get the fancy cutter, yeah. the lighter, you have to light it with cedar wood, right. and sit there and, and, and smoke <laughs> it, let the ash come down to like have an ash that big. Mm. But after a couple of years of it, it's like just like the fucking thing. And you right. put it out. I put I've put in thirty dollar cigars out, just walked away with this much. Right. But uh, I got some good cigars. So let's light these bats up while we're talking about this. But um, I literally like I'll be in New York and I'm smoking a cigar and a guy will come up and start asking me about it. I know. He goes, What are you smoking? I go, yeah. I'm smoking my own fucking business. You know what I mean? Back <laughs> off a little bit. Look at these bad boys. Oh nice. Look at that. Those are nice. Cuban baby. I got these in in Belgium. So these are illegal. Somebody could come in and kick open the door. Yeah. Bust this. Yeah. Kick I open like the, the attitude. They wouldn't have to kick open this shit, though. I hope they would just yeah. open it because it's, it's kind of flimsy. Um, 
But it's it, cozy in here, by the way. It's very cozy. Isn't this lo this looks like the room Jim Morrison died in. That's the <laughs> that's the fun thing about it. Well, here's the funny thing is that uh, Colin Quinn did this show, the first episode. Yeah. Two days later, he had a heart attack. Really? Mm -hmm. Because my pancreas is bothering me right now. <laughs> I'm really nervous. I think this is where people come to get sick, Bobby. I'm not lying. That's why people don't want to come up here. <laughs> what? What? What if everybody who did this show wound up fucking like having some some illness? <laughs> yeah, right. Like there's some type of gypsy curse on this shed yeah. that the fucking Amish did. Mm. Mm. This is an Amish shed. Mm -hmm. Amish Mike's yeah. in Jersey. Where did everybody in the village have to come together and fucking help out? Yeah, Harrison Ford. Yeah, he was there. <laughs> he wasn't really Amish. He was just hiding from something he did. But that's funny that you say that. You're not on social media. We're adults, mm. but I, I, I. But do you find it that I mean, look, Ron, you have one of the best shows, radio shows ever. You're one of the funniest guys on the planet. Yes. Everybody says that. Yes. <laughs> who? Uh, who said that? To you? I want to know. Everybody. Anybody I bring this up to. Yeah. If I say Ronnie, funniest guy. Yeah, absolutely. Nobody disagrees with that. Mm. You bring up Voss's name, funniest guy in the world. People yeah. go, huh? <laughs> that would hurt. Well, a, he would be happy you mentioned his name, and then the next thing hurts him. I'm kidding. I love Voss. He's I, the best. I was with right. him. Let me say this the other night, mm. and he was saying to me, uh, "I was sitting down before Big J, like he's worried." He said he sat on, you know, when he was on stage, yeah. he sat on the stool before Big J, and before Patrice, and before Bill Cosby, and he'd like to be known for that. I think it's true, though. Yeah. He did sit down before all of them. Mm -hmm. He said, and yet no one brings it up. Is yeah, nobody brings it up. Yeah. Well, you know, listen. First of all, Voss, he, he has a respect thing. Mm -hmm. He literally, I'll yell at him jokingly. He'll be like, "Who do you think you're talking to, <laughs> my friend? We're kidding. <laughs> Stop trying to. Fuck. You're not my. Yeah. You're not my grandfather. Relax. It's not 1910. Fucking asshole. Anyways, listen. Yeah. Back to you. Yeah. You. You're not on social media. You don't do anything. You do your show. Right. You do comedy shows. Yeah. Once in a while, you go on stage. You've been doing stand-up more. Yeah. And you don't fucking prom you promote yourself on your show. Right. If that. I mean, you, 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 you're like AA. It's like attraction rather than promotion. Yes, that is very, very true. <laughs> very, very true. And I, the, the, uh, I, I, That is the way I live my life. I'm like, if somebody wants to come over and say, hey, this is cool. Can I do something with you? I'm like, yeah, of course. But I don't go around asking for stuff. But how do you, I mean, look, is it because you have a radio gig and you have a job? I mean, the the radio gig to me is the perfect thing uh, for stand-up comics because it combines um, security, a yes. job yes. you can go to, um, and um, you can still be creative and funny, and you can work on weekends. Mm. It's like the perfect gig for a comic. Um but and you start. You were a comic first before yeah. you did radio. You I, had a, I was a comic and I'd started a club down in Florida. What was the club? Then? Uh, it was uh, it was in Clearwater, and I was doing uh, kind of a Barry Crimmins thing. Really? You know what I mean? Where yeah, I would have that club, and then what they did in radio, there was uh, we would go around on Fridays to different places, and I went to this uh, rock and roll station with my comics, oh. and would do Fridays. And the guy said to me, he goes, why don't you, uh, the PD says, why don't you just come in without the comics? The comics kind of suck. People don't realize this. Comics were pretty bad on the radio pre-podcasting. Yeah. After podcasting, everybody learned to be funny in a conversation. Right. But before that, they would come in and really try to shoehorn. The jokes. Yeah, the jokes. Right. Or say, I don't want to do my jokes because I'm doing them tonight. It fucking chuckles. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so this kind of thing, yeah. I just naturally started doing. So the guy said, come back Fridays by yourself. He goes, you plug as much as you want, blah, blah, blah. Then he goes, you know what? Come in Thursday and Friday. Plug as much as you want. Add in a Monday. And by the time a book came out, we had really, really big numbers in like 18 to 34-year-old You men. with this other guy. Yeah, me so with, it was almost like what an Opie did with an Anthony. Right, but with the, you know, I think Opie kind of went out looking for an Anthony, and we just kind of, there was a guy on the happened. radio and another guy, and here's a topic, and it just happened. And this was, 
you know, this was a day that you didn't have to do too much to be a shock jock. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like you could just say something slightly off yeah. kilter yeah. and everybody was like, oh my God, it would make the fucking paper. Yeah, and then it got to the point where you had to stick a wiffle ball bat up a chick's vagina. Right. And measure it and get another chick and see if she could. I got to tell you the truth, it never got to that point <laughs> except for ONA. There was never any reason. That was my first day, in, I think, yeah. in ONA. Yeah. Over at the, uh, other, the XM Studios. Mm-hmm. And I remember I, I walked in and there was a, wi- I mean, you can never get away with that today. Um, could you imagine a radio show trying no. to do that? Like you couldn't get away with it then. Hey, but then <laughs> I remember they took it off and put it back on the wall, and there yeah. was other marks on it from other people. From oh other yeah, girls. yeah, yeah. And I was just like, "What the?" F-? I remember leaving, going, "What did I just do?" Like, I, I think that changed me. Like war. You you weren't <laughs> on with them at NEW? No, no way. That surprises me. Why? I don't know. I thought that you were. I get, no. I, I, my timeline got a little fucked up. No, because you were over there too. Yeah, you and Fez. Yeah. And here's so here's what I want to do. You're in comedy. Mm-hmm. You're doing comedy. You own a comedy club. All right. What happened to make you say fuck comedy? Um, like that's a comics. Our dream is to get to where the Louis or you yeah. know uh, Chappelle or you know to get to that point right. to where we're the motherfuckers getting paid. Some of, most of us don't make it. Most of us just make a career out of it and make a living and yeah. you know, wind up on a boat somewhere and then fucking, you know, Home Depot. But you you said fuck it went into radio. Is, is it Yeah, I was doing both for a while, you know what I mean, down there and uh, uh, the reason why I stopped doing stand up is because I needed to uh, not have people that were fans come up and put stuff in my pocket or in my hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I had I had run into a real problem that uh, had to be addressed. Yeah. And you know, humility is part of it. You got to pull back. Yeah. And I thought, uh, yeah, I got to do that. So this radio gig came up. You're like, let me just do this. Yeah. I mean, no, it, the radio gig was so big in Florida, right? That was yeah. so popular. Yeah. I could go around and take people. And we'd do theaters throughout the... Southeast and stuff. So you're doing theaters? Yeah, we were doing theaters. It was Jimmy Schubert, uh, Carl LeBeau, me, we were just taking, and, and, and a few other guys. And we were going out and selling out these theaters and having a great time. But like I said, I had fallen into right. the dark side of being young and doing well. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's Florida, and you know how crazy. You know, Florida. that whole scene is nonstop. Dude, f- first of all, marriage does not matter in Florida. Mm-hmm. It just it doesn't matter. I mean, you see, and, and these couples, right. people just fuck in Florida. Yes. I get scared when I go to Florida. It's a fuck, you know. I mean, you, 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 you go to these shows, I go to these shows, and it's just these hot couples. Right. Like, what are you doing after the show? <laughs> yes. Where are you going? Want to come back yes. to our house? What? <laughs> yeah, we live on a golf course. What? <laughs> my uncle, my, he has a pet alligator and a cigarette butt. <laughs> there it. There's, you're not even slightly exaggerating. That's exactly Florida. Dude, I was at a cigar bar and there was this smoking hot chick of a famous person and some guy was like, oh, you got great tits. And she went, really? And she was like, yes. And I was like, what, where am I? Where the fuck am I? Florida. That's why it makes the news. It's, it's, it's a, I mean, I would love to retire there. I would love to, if I ever get divorced, I'm moving. I'm gone. I am gone. St. Pete's condo. Boat, I'm out. Right. I'm out. Fishing rod, I'm gone. I'm going to get into shape, that old guy's shape. Here's the thing. The old guy's down there, too, because my mother-in-law has been down there, retired, and she says, on, she says, I really don't like the golf course. This isn't a retirement village. She goes, because everyone gets so high. Yeah. All the people who retired, the old dudes, <laughs> they just get fucking wasted yeah. all day. They get guns and <laughs> yes. pot and fuck. Right. It's a crazy place. Yeah. So, so you're down there, you're doing theaters, 2,000 seat theaters, yeah. selling them out yeah. with your friends, right? and you walk away. Yeah. Fuck. That, I mean, dude, I, got, I, got, I, got, I gave all the stuff up before I entered mm-hmm. this fucking business. Thank God, because if I was still out there fucking off, and I was in this business, I, I don't think I would make it. In the midst of it, you walked away. That takes some character. No, 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 man. I don't think so. Really? I think it was the exact opposite of character. I think it was maybe looking to go 
where is this fucking going? Right. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's going nowhere, man. So it's, you know. So you said, I'm out of comedy and just did radio. How do you meet? Now, how do you go from Schubert, the, the, the fucking, yeah. the guys you were touring with, right. which was, a, you know, and then to Fez? Well, Fez was always with me. Always? Always, yeah. Fez was the producer down there. No shit. And I still, I don't know if anybody makes me laugh as much as that guy to this day. He's just so funny. The first time I listened to you guys, I was like, is this a fucking joke? Yeah. Like, is it, are these guys fucking... The second time I listened to you, I was like, what the fuck? Oh, my God. The third time I was addicted. I didn't... I didn't. The, the reality... You, see, the thing that you do great, Yeah. I don't know if it's real. You don't know where the fucking line is. Right. And you keep fucking going back to it. And with you and him, I didn't know it was real. I didn't know if he was really mad. Sometimes he was. Sometimes you'd, you'd fucking piss him off. Right. Sometimes, I didn't know what the fuck was going on half the time. But he, he was a hilarious guy. And is. He is still, day. yeah. And he's another guy who decided, I'm going to step back away from it. He's you know mad, what I mean? Like, I know, he's mad at me. Uh, what's he mad at you for? You know. No, I really don't. What did you do? <sighs> he came to my show down there, and he uh -huh. was like, listen, no pictures, no pictures. Oh, and I was like, no pictures. Yeah. I go, let me just take this picture for me. Yeah. For myself. But I was, I had a guy helping me, and he he took all my photos off my phone, and he would put them on the Facebook. So instead of you, you, you know, at the end of the show, can yeah. I get a picture? You know, twenty minutes, some fucking drunk guy. Ugh. So it's just, I'll give you the picture. I take it. Just go to my Facebook tomorrow. You'll all the pictures will be up there, right? People go to my Facebook. They get their photo. This asshole put, fa I forgot to, not him, I'm blaming him. See what a piece of shit I am? Right. I'm blaming him. I, I, I put, he put Fez's picture up there. Well, Fez doesn't, you know, doesn't want to live a, a public life anymore. He wants to, and a lot of that has to do with social media. I, because they're so fucking mean? Mm hmm Is that why you don't go on? No. Why don't you go on? <laughs> I, I just, I already do a show. What more am I going to say? What am I going to say to people? But do, are you worried about the people and how many... And if you do, you don't give a shit. Wow. No. I'm getting to that point, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting to that point, too. The problem with me is um, I love the technology of it. Right. I love the fact that you... see that here. <laughs> so you got the setup here. Yeah, but it is kind of slash... It's a shed. Yeah. It's primitive technology. Is what I call this show. Yeah. It's primitive. It's the iPhones, and then it's the uh, it's the shed that we're in a shed. So it's both. But I do. I love the technology. I love that you can just go on live and talk to people and get fuck. It's great and it sucks because you go on live. I mean, Jesus Christ, I get the the fat thing, a million fucking. I mean, it's it's all. How many people do we know made some fucking offhanded comment that you know they're gonna end up losing a gig over or posting a picture? Of somebody who you said you wouldn't post a picture of, and you know what I mean. Like, there's more problems, right, than anything else. It is a fucking nightmare. Yeah, it's a night. That's why I started this Patreon because you can't get in unless you're a fan, because you have to pay. This is just for the fans. You have to pay for the hardcores. You have to get. You have. If look at if you pay and you right. hate me, th that's I give you credit. So you're never going to put this out for free. N this is never. We'll give them pieces. Yeah. You know what I mean? Give of them course. nothing. Well, they get nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. You fucking don't like me, you don't get to see this. You might love Ron Bennington, <laughs> but you, you don't get to see it. You don't get to see you it. You have to love me too. And you know how you show that love? Yeah. Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most mobbed up thing I've ever seen. Five bucks. <laughs> you just lost your pillow. That's right okay. No. You sure? Yeah, it's cool. You don't <laughs> have an ashtray in this? Yeah, oh thing? buddy, come on. Yeah. I made this ashtray. <laughs> Look you honestly made this? Yeah, I made Wait, it. Wait, you this is this board? This on the top. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is what you should be selling online. <laughs> I made that. This looks like a fucking ram is going to come up and start drinking out of it. You're far enough into the Oh my god, country. this could be a bird bath. <laughs> yeah. This could be a bird bath too. I didn't even think of it. It's an yeah. ashtray slash bird bath. I uh mm. By the way, though, I'm going to ask you about that, too. Do you what? think the social media falls into your addiction thing? It absolutely is addictive. Yeah. It's addictive. Um, yeah, you know, I've been talking to Ari about this. Who, who, You know, he got a flip phone. Uh -huh. 
Um, but Louis doesn't have a phone anymore either. I think he, they leave it in drawers or something. They have it, but they don't right. use it. Um, yeah, it, it goes into my addiction. It's, it's really bad because you're, you're, you're counting numbers. You know what I mean? You mm -hmm. put something up there, you can count the likes. It's, it's almost like a video game. These little fucking, like a math video game where you're like, another like, another retweet. Right. Uh, oh, that's hate mail. Oh, they hate me. Oh, they love me. And, um, but you can also, it, but it's fucked up because it goes into creativity too. Yeah. Because you can make something and put it out there. You can take a photo of something that you saw and share it with people that like it. Right, what are you most proud of that you ever put online? Is there something that you're this, proud of? This right here. This right here. This, this show. This, this, no, this episode. <laughs> <laughs> this episode this right is, now. What's going to, you're going to be known for this. This, this is well, this is going to yeah. break me. Right. This I'm going to get. I'm going to. Uh, this is going to break me. Yeah. Theaters next week. Well, here's the thing. I want and, you to come to. And no, for me, it'll be. But you like have to get a Facebook. Any mystery <laughs> about me is gone after this. It's just like, oh, he's just a regular guy. I get it. It's true. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to give him too much info about you. I want you want nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Fuck! It's so old school. Yeah, it and is. And I'm from that. Yeah. I'm from the 90s. Yeah. I should have the same fucking thing, but the, the, you go, the, the, everybody checks. They want to see, uh, all these networks want to see how many followers you have, how much shit. You want to be on those networks, to be totally honest? Yes. Do you? Okay. I, well, I want to be on a net. I would, yes. Which one? A, uh, What's I, the dream network for Dream you? network? Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. Well, FX was until mm. they fucking shit can the show. That was my. You were great mean, on that show. I was, I was. That was my dream gig. Yeah. I mean, literally, when I, I mean, rock and roll, chubby guy that got to dress. My wardrobe wasn't, you know, Henleys and fucking baggy jeans. It was actually cool stuff. They had to make it from scratch because it didn't come in my size. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I think all clothes are made from scratch. <laughs> yeah, but, but when they wanted to make a shirt with a dragon on it, they had to, they had to go buy my size yeah. and then. Paint a dragon on it. They couldn't get rock and roll. Rock and roll clothes yeah. do not come in my size. What uh, What is your rock and roll background? Do you care about rock and roll a lot? Do you love music? I do, I, here's the thing: yeah. is that I do love music, but I do not love it like a uh, like a, I'm not an audiophile. I'm not a. I don't like. I don't remember bands or songs. I don't give a fuck about you know album. I don't know, know any of that shit. But if you put it on. I'll fi I love it. I love all kinds. You know what that is? That's like a three-year-old. Yeah, I'm a, a three-year-old. Three yep. Just hear the music and start jumping. <laughs> You're around absolutely right. And having yeah. a good time. But yeah. you don't say like, "Oh, the Stones in this era. This is when the Kings were at their best." I do not give a fuck. And people who do that, like you, do that. Yeah. Uh, Leary does that. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's people that do it. Like Louis does that with jazz and. And I, I just, if you, if you say, hey, check this out, this is great. I'd be like, yeah, it's fucking great. I love it. Like Jim Serpico got me into jazz. Like I never really listened to jazz. And he's like, dude, you got to come. And I went. And I was like, what the fuck? Seeing it now, live is amazing, man. Now I listen to jazz. Oh, it's yeah. the fucking best. I also think jazz is something like at a certain age, you, it, 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 it approaches you better than it does when you were a kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you need patience. Yeah. You need patience and you and it's it's uh there's no fucking hook. Right. You know what I mean? There's no since you've been gone. <laughs> Waiting for that part where she goes, been a long time. I love Kelly Clarkson. Don't even fuck her. I got her All my... three year olds do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's true. <laughs> I well <laughs> I love Kelly. I love Bon Jovi. Uh huh. You don't like Bon Jovi? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> Why? Why do you feel judged? People always feel judged. They can't say what they love. I'm glad that you love anything. I think that's great. I think the fact that Kelly Clarkson and Bon Jovi are your two favorite acts. No, 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 no. Say, oh. no, this is what you do great. This is what you do. <laughs> no, I'm really, is, I'm not so happy. This is what you do great. Yeah. You should have been yeah. a lawyer. You should have been a defense attorney. Literally, you would have got everybody off because you know how to fucking ask. Pepper questions. You pepper questions. No, fuck you, Ron. You have pepper questions, and then you, I, you bring my walls down, I answer the questions, yeah. and then you come back and you say, <laughs> so your favorite acts of Bon Jovi and Kelly Clarkson. I like Led Zeppelin, too. I love Cream. Really? You like that shit? <laughs> come on. You like that old dinosaur shit? You don't like Led Zeppelin? No. <laughs> <laughs> you got to <laughs> See what you're doing? By uh, the way, pepper what? questions should be the name 
of the detective show that you're pitching the FX. <laughs> it's Peppa Questions. How great would a show be, me yeah. and you as detectives? I would love that fucking show. Do you know how slow the case was getting solved? <laughs> That's like, hilarious. I'd pull up. You'd be smoking a cigar <laughs> on the hood of the car. I'd pull yeah. up and be like, listen, <clears throat> I got a lead in the case. No shit. <laughs> Where'd you get that sandwich? <laughs> Off the street. They just opened a place. Let's go get a sandwich. We'll talk about it over there. That seriously sounds like a great show. It would be a great show. Yeah. The slow detectives. Right. But here's the thing. We solved the case first scene of the show. You right. just didn't know that. <laughs> it's already done. Yeah, I come up and I go, dude, I got a thing. And I talk to blah. And you go like this every time. You go, where'd you get that sandwich? And then we go get a sandwich. Then we go get some coffee. Yeah. Then there's a cannoli place. Then you go home, bang your wife. You're still yeah. married. Yeah. I'm divorced. Um, I go see my kid, and then uh, and then we meet up again for dinner at a friend your yeah. brother's place who owns a restaurant. It's a good restaurant. It's not the best, but it's good. And then we have dinner. After that, we take a walk uh, downtown. Uh, we go get a little more coffee, smoke a cigar, and by the time you're leaving, I'm like, we should probably go check out that lead. You go, yeah, the maid did it. Go and that's the end of it. Well, yeah. no, then we go to the next day where we're walking her out. Right. But we don't walk her out. Young cops. Right. Because we don't, yeah. Yeah, we're just walking like this. Yeah. So I'm the one who solves the cases, though. Yeah, you should. Well, you, come on. Yeah. yeah, I'm there for you. Right. And I give you, every once in a while, you get fucking <laughs> stumped. Yeah. Something happens in your life. Like, you have a thing, um, you have a thing with your wife, right? Yeah. Anytime you fight, you get a little stumped. You're, you're, you're oh, I like that. You have a mechanism. Like you, that backstory. It doesn't, it doesn't work. So but, I got to come in and talk you down. But no one's ever done that thing before where one guy is like solved the case, but he's desperately trying to tell his partner. No, don't you understand? <laughs> his, par his partner is like dumber than the audience <laughs> yeah. and everyone's mad at him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fucking hilarious. Let's do it. I yeah. say we do it. Yeah. How great. Now, okay. Someone comes to you, Ron. Yeah. And they say, all right, you got your radio show mm -hmm. with your daughter now. Mm -hmm. Um, which is, I love your daughter is one of the nicest human beings I've ever met. Um, you can always tell, uh, what a parent is to me by the person, like who their parents were. You can tell that you were a great dad, right? No, you, that's not up for you to decide. It's never, somebody tells you later, like on your deathbed, whether you were a good parent or not. You so never when you know. die. Yeah. When you die, probably that last thing, they're like, no, seriously, you were good. It'd be funny if when you're dying, you're like. I don't see a girl comes up to your ear and she goes, <laughs> you sucked. Yeah, it could happen though. That Some fucking kids do that. But I, I think there's, there's no, when someone says I'm a great dad, you're like, that's fucking you stupid. Know, but they're not going to say it right away. They're going to come up in your ear and go, where's your watch? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> What'd you do with the Rolex? Yeah, take it uh, off. Um, so they come up to you. You got your radio show. It's going great. I mean, mm -hmm. it's an awesome show. Uh, and uh, a network comes to you. I come to you. I say, look, oh, we pitched a show. FX bought it. Me and you are the stars. Mm -hmm. You're going to make this much money an episode? Yeah. Uh, ten episodes guaranteed. Do you walk away? Why can't you do both? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? You, listen. You know what? When you I don't know in the... Listen, okay. But for this fantasy... Okay. For this fantasy... With you? Yeah, I'm walking away. I'm going with, with Rich Bobby. Foss. Yeah. Rich Voss. <laughs> oh, no. Because <laughs> you know what? I, I had this, I've had a lifetime of security. And I don't know if I would have raised that. So so we do the show. It's me and you. Mm -hmm. and But you got to give up the radio show with your daughter or just walk away from radio. Do you say fuck you? No, you know what? Now that you put it that way, no. Really? I don't go, yeah. See, <clears throat> you don't go. You stay. Well, you know, because it wasn't my dream to be a TV detective. It's your dream to be a radio guy. It's my dream not to work a regular job. I'm the one who got their dream. Like, I came from a neighborhood that I was like, oh, are you going to work in a factory? Are you going to do... And to not do that is the only dream I ever had. And that's the one that I, I try to stick to. Right. Just to do what I want to do. Because, again, if you think, and I know you're not overly into music, but the whole... Bon Jovi, Kelly Clarkson, and with occasional, a little bit of Led Zeppelin. But for me, if you think of any of the people, you know, like Lou Reed, or... Who's that? He's a... I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, but those people were never, you know what I mean? They did what they wanted to do, no matter where it was on any kind of scale. You know what I mean? Like, 
A lot of people chased popularity and they sucked for it. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they're trying to write hit songs. But when somebody's writing the songs that they want to write, yeah. recording it the way they want, that's the life that you know you want to live. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah, you could end up in a shed one day smoking uh, cigars, no, no, fucking no. around. <laughs> Wake up. I think my shed falls into the other it, category. It exactly does. Is that me? This is you <laughs> doing what you want to do the way you want to do it. Right. Right. That's great. Yeah. Like, I'm sure there's musicians out there that have studios in their apartment. But if you, let's <laughs> suppose FX picked this up. Yeah. They would go, all right, um, here's who we want you to book. Here's the kind of questions we want you to ask. I want you to have a gotcha moment. Yeah. Every and all of a sudden you're not doing the show that you set out to do. Yeah. How much That's money do they give me? Uh, they're gonna. <laughs> they're gonna double this. <laughs> double this. <laughs> then yeah, I wouldn't do yeah. it. <laughs> how much not to do this? That's what. How much not to do this? Yeah. <laughs> how much money never to get on stage again? Well, I did. I asked Colin that mm -hmm. on the. Sh I said. How much money would it take for you to just stop this, mm -hmm. this fucking craziness that we're in? Uh, and he said nothing because I'm just he, he his, his his he said yeah, which I is kind of my answer too. I haven't figured it out yet, and it really I was like yeah that's right. I I, I mean look if you offered me ten million I'd walk away from all all my friendships too. If you said you can't talk to him anymore, I'd dump everybody. I wouldn't talk to any of you motherfuckers ever again. I'd go fucking I told I told Colin I'd whittle shit up in New Hampshire somewhere. I'd make like stuff like this for people. Yeah. Bird bath or cigar, whatever you want. Um, now, I don't know, it's tough. It's a tough thing because, can I say, and you know this, mm -hmm. once you have a kid, once you build a life, I think, you know, once you have that child and, and, and it, it dies if you don't take care of it, it needs you for food and clothing and heat and, and you have to provide, it gets scary. You know, in my 30, 20s and 30s, I didn't give a fuck. I need a, I need a room and a key so I don't get cold in the winter. I mean, just let me go do comedy. Right. Pay me what you want. I don't give a fuck. But when I, once I had that kid, it's like, shit, I can't fuck up his life by not trying as hard as I can now. Right. Um, so it isn't about you anymore. It's about your kid. Your it, motivation it's about is my, not your thing. It's about my family. I would say yeah. my wife, too. Yeah, I hate guys who go, just my kid. I love my wife, too. I love my family. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. didn't you find that with your kid? I mean, you got... Yeah. Did, you, did you ever get married? No, Were you married? Yeah. I'm married and uh, I, I had my kids when I was, you know, young. I was in my 20s. So, I was always trying to figure out how to, you know, balance both of those things. Yeah. And, do, you think, uh, do you think that weighed into you saying, let me just go on the radio and get a steady paycheck? 100%. 100%. Yeah. Right. 100%. And you live in the city now, right? Yeah. I didn't know that. No. Never been invited over. I never invited anybody over. No one comes to your house. Fez. Fez came to your house. Mm -hmm. No shit. Fez was literally part of my family, and is still part of my family. No shit. Like, people don't realize, like, uh, how close Fez and my kids were. He was like an aunt. To them, no shit. A, a, but I'm telling you when I say that because he was always on, yeah, always on, even more than he was on the radio. Yeah, when he would come to my house, no shit. Yeah, so you have a small group of people in your life. Well, I just gave you everybody. That's it. Yeah, your daughter. Yeah, my daughter, and my Fez. son, Fez. So your daughter, son, Fez. Yeah, and you know, some relatives. That's it. Yeah. So nobody comes over your house. You don't have friends over. You don't have poker night. Mm -mm. You don't do, let's watch Oscars and let's pick. Hey, I made a casserole. You guys want to come over? I do all those things, but with my family. With your family? Yeah. And that's it? Yeah. Shit. I respect that so much. Right. Like, even, like, you got my number now. That's a burner phone. That goes out <laughs> the fucking window on the way I'm home. Not, I'm not going <laughs> to I'm, I'm call. I'm not going to fucking call. I, I will not call you. I'm going to take the worry out of that. Yeah. Forget about it. Burner phone goes out the window. <laughs> I won't use What would we do if we hung out together? What's what's your plan? This. Yeah. If I hung out with you, it would probably be it would probably just be smoking a cigar, maybe yeah. having a little food or something, right? Mm -hmm. And 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 philosophizing. That's it. That's what we're doing here though. That's what we're doing here. Yeah. I would probably just be the same shit. But it would be, you know, funny, uh, 
but interesting. I I find here's the problem with you. Yeah. Is that well, this is great. I want to hear the problem with me. This is the problem with you. Is that your um your your who you are people want to be around. You understand? Mm-hmm. Patrice had it. Yeah. Um you know, some guys have that thing where when they come around people want to be around you. People want to hang with you. So to be uh, to 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 live the way you live, where you just show up when all right, there's a gig, I'll be there, and then I'm gonna yeah. leave. It's kind of like ah, people are like hey, and I don't know if it's because you don't hang out or you don't do those things that people wanna, you know, be around you more. But it, I think it's because of who you are. People wanna, people wanna. You know who had that? Who? Jesus. Jesus would do his show. Yeah. And, and everyone's like. You don't even know where Jesus lives. No one did. <laughs> you say that jokingly. Yeah. But if we were, if you were back, yeah. if we were back in Jesus times, yeah. if we were just in robes with our balls hanging out right now, yeah. I guarantee you could start a fucking cult. Haven't you ever even thought about that? To, like you but, could get a small church somewhere, well, get a few people, get ten percent of everybody's fucking taste in town. I think yeah, almost think, any. What do, you, what do you think my Patreon channel is? <laughs> 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 then one day they're all gonna you'll have them kill themselves. Uh, yeah, with uh, yeah. with with, uh, with with cheap sneakers from uh, from the cheap sneaker store. Oh, yeah. uh, good working that joke out. <laughs> Fucking suck. From with cheap sneakers from the cheap sneakers. What a hunk of shit comic. I Can have. I tell you something? That's the next album name. The cheap, cheap sneakers from the cheap sneakers store. I didn't. I literally had the joke in my head. Yeah. And I didn't have it worked out, and I still said it. You know, uh, <laughs> I wanted to say this to you. The best thing <laughs> that uh, one of the best shows I ever did was Creeps with, uh, kids. with Kids. And yes. I'll tell you why. Yes. I thought I had a unique parenting style. I swear to God. Yeah. And it's not different than yours. It's yeah. not different than Florentine's. Yeah. It's not different than Voss and Bonnie. And that was crazy to me. I think mine's a little different than Florentine's and Voss and Bonnie. Why? why? I don't let my kids swear and say, fuck you, or you suck, or you're an idiot. Yeah. I don't do that. Florentine actually told his kid, uh, stop eating that shitty food because rock star is a thing. You want to be a rock star? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, well, stop eating. You're going to get fat yeah. and you won't be in a band. By the way, if you ever <laughs> want to see a fucking... That should be a show. It's Florentine yeah. and his kid. Oh. Florentine and Luke. One of the... He, they're you so see him great. jumping on stage all the time now and that's doing shit? Yeah. Yeah, Max jumps on stage, but he's cute. Yeah, he's still... I, I don't yeah. let him... I don't... Like, like uh, Rainer will swear. Yeah. Rainer, I'm scared to get around Rainer. Yeah. Like, she'll be sitting there, and she'll just look at you, and I'm just waiting for her to go, I saw you special. Wasn't that good? Mm. You know what I mean? And She was talking about that the other day. About, about my special? special. Yeah. What'd she say? I don't want to I don't want to start your shit between you two. <laughs> but she just thought... You're joking. She, yeah. But, but there is that real... Can I tell you what she said to me? Go ahead. Derivative. That's what she said. I don't I don't even know where that came from. I don't, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I know it's a D word. Why did you stop doing that show? That show's fucking great. I didn't stop doing it. Um <clears throat> I didn't stop doing it. I wanted to uh I wanted to um I was trying to get Jess for laughs. I wanted them to do it. Mm-hmm. I wanted to all go up there and do a uh you know uh you know just uh creeps with kids up there. Yeah. Here the, the whole concept behind the show is that you got Florentine, you got yeah. Voss and Bonnie, you, me, I mean, Lewis, all these fucking people who have these kids, comics, who have kids, and it's, 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 it, it's like, can you, Louie, all these, I was like, oh, we can have kids, we're right. hunks of shit, we're, we're, we say awful shit, we're funny, we're doing all, but we have kids and we're great parents, and I think comics raise better kids, because... We, 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 we don't hide them from shit, but we don't let them be assholes. We don't let them be dickheads right. in life, you know? So it's like, I, I, I just thought the show would be funny to have everybody go up and do kid material, and then we sit down, and you yeah. you were the fucking best, though. Because you and your daughter, Gail, yeah. every show would come up with this thing at the beginning right. and do almost like a little routine, yeah. which made the show uh, kind of like old school. Like yes, real. yes. I like that I old variety shit, right? Yeah, it was great. And then you hosting the show at the end, the panel. Yeah. It was great. We should do it again. You want to do let's it again? Let's do it again, yeah. All right, let's do it tomorrow. What are you doing right. tomorrow? Um, tomorrow I'm a little busy. Okay. Can, um, I, can I text you or should I have to go through something? Yeah, else? I got to um, uh, have a meeting with my lawyer tomorrow 
do a cease and desist on this show. You have a lawyer. Yes, okay, make sure it doesn't go out. That's great. It's not, it's not really going out. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. It's only, well, you oh say this is live from the shed, right? It's live from the Are shed. Are we live right now? We're live on, uh, right now in okay. life. Yeah. But when people see this. It's later. It will be live in their life yeah. at that time. If they watch it twice, yeah. it's not live. So the first time it's live. Yeah. The first time you watch it, <laughs> you're it's live. live. You're live. It's live. Yeah. It's, if you watch it the second time, it's yeah. not live. So Saturday Night Live doesn't necessarily could be taped two weeks before, in your opinion. Technically not live. Yeah. If you watch it the first time, it's Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live. Second Enjoy time, it. it's Saturday Night. Who else uh, would you go to this for Creeps with Kids? Because I'm very curious. I'm, I was blown away yeah. when I started hearing people's... Uh, let's do it with Comedy Central. Want to do? Let's sell it as a yeah. show. Yeah, want to do it? Show. Yeah. Me and you will do it. All right. We'll partner up. 60-40. No, well, all right. Who's, who's what? The 60. Oh, you fucking don't burn that phone. Maybe I'll tell you when I call you next time. I'll tell you next week. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give you my telegram number and just fucking... Do you have a... T- yeah, I have a telegram <laughs> in my... Do, 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 like that fucking shit. And I huh. sit. Right. I got this little thing on, you know, like that. It's a code breaker? Fuck, yeah. 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 What was that thing? The, uh, the whisper uh, or some the, shit? No, Enigma oh. from the from the World War Two. Yeah. The Enigma box. Is yeah. that right? Yeah, yeah. I well, I mean, know. look at dude. I whipped out Enigma from yeah. World War Two. I exp- I didn't know what fucking differential. What was the word? Differential? Mm-mm. No, no. It wasn't. <laughs> Derivative. Derivative. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Anyways, I got a very special surprise for you. Oh, great. On guests on my show, I like to give them gifts. Great. Fantastic. For coming out here. Yeah. And uh, being part of this, I really appreciate it. Um, this was a lot for me because I got to go all the way back to the city and do a show. Yes. People don't realize how early in the morning. Why didn't we do this after my show? After We should have. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, okay. I don't know why we didn't think of that. Will you come up and do it again, maybe next season? Next season? <laughs> what are you talking about, summer? <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm st- I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm stepping on my gift. What am I getting? <laughs> well, first of all, we got the cop show. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do the cop show together. I'm definitely doing the cop show. What's the show. name of the cop show? Um, I think it was uh, Peppa Questions. <laughs> you, your last name is Peppa. You're Lou Peppa. <laughs> and that's what you do. You Peppa people with questions. Where's she from? What's her name? What's her boyfriend's name? Where he from? Okay, what job does he do? Got it. Let's go get a sub. Yeah. Boom. Peppa Questions. There you go. Um, we're doing the cop show. Yeah. Are we doing that FX? Yeah, I, I think we go Netflix. All right, because I think there's more, maybe some more money. You know, I'll tell you this: there's too much on Netflix for me. All right, let's go to Hulu. Okay, perfect. There's not enough there. Why don't we go to? You know what? Let's go to Pop TV. <laughs> they, they, they don't have enough. Call they them. need some. Call them. We'll Let call them know Pop. The good news. We're gonna Pop if you're watching. <laughs> Peppa Questions, starring <laughs> my man Ronnie B and Bobby K. We only go by Ronnie B and Bobby K. You don't need our last names. And uh, get in touch with people. That actually is not a bad idea. It's a great idea. Wish- and, we're, and we're doing yeah. Creeps with Kids. Yeah. I really am going to do that again. All right. We should try to do that as an actual show for Netflix. Let Call, uh, where, where are we doing it at the Underground again? I say we do it at the Underground. We film right. it at the Underground. Call them, get a date. And then we'll worry about the rest of it from All there. All right. Who, but who else has a kid? Well, I th- Big J is perfect. Love Big J. Yeah. Who else? I don't know. I think uh, I think Soder has one that he doesn't acknowledge. We could find it. Yeah, <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> just bring it out. Find a little, a little Hawaiian yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it look, it looks like fucking Andre the Giant and, and and Snooker. Yeah. <laughs> right. But those uh, little babies that wear those Hulu skirts, it's so fucking adorable. Oh, well, Hulu so skirts cute. on little yeah. babies. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting weird. All right, what yeah. do we got here? All right, all right, here we go. All right. Well, first of all, thank you for coming up. Yeah. Second of all. I've got uh, one of my favorite cigars right here, yeah. which is a, uh, right here, this is a, from uh, my father. Okay. Right oh, there. yeah, they're great. Centurion right there. And then I, I got you this box of cigars. I've been smoking these. These are one of my favorite cigars right here. Um, Olivia. It's a series. It's the V series. Right. But it's a sample pack of all the great ones. I love so it. So I, I got you that. That's a box of cigars. I also got you this other, my father. That's Jesus, for you. I'm having the time of my life here. And I got you one of these. This is actually one of my all-time favorite cigars. Um, this is called, I, uh, I call it the Wesley Snipes. <laughs> Don't ask why. No, not going to. But when you do wet the end of it, it becomes unashy. 
Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, a Tatawahi Gran Cajone. This is one of my all-time favorite cigars. I'd like you to smoke that, enjoy yourself, and I want to thank you so much for coming up here, hanging out, and uh, we got the show happening. Yeah. Creeps with Kids, Pepper Questions, and of course your show with your daughter Gail on uh, Sirius, Sirius XM. Sirius XM. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, what's the show called? Bennington. Just, Just Bennington. Bennington. Yeah. Because it's both of you. Yeah. It's great. It's one of my favorite shows to go on. Uh, last time I was on it, I did the uh, Dish It. Dish It, and now those clips play every time we do that bit. People, Everybody loves that. People yell them out at my shows yeah. all the time. That's great. Dish It, and it makes me turn into that character. That's <laughs> so hilarious. Yeah. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for coming on. Can I on. tell you something, too? Yeah. I love you, and I think you're one of the funniest fucking people ever on the planet. It's, that's why I came running up here to do this in a heartbeat. I'd do anything with you, Ron. Okay. Anything. We're on our way. So next season, you're back up. Next season. You're back up. Because I'll be here next season. You heard it right here. Yeah. Live from the shed. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being a member of my channel. I hope you enjoyed the show. The great Ron Bennington. We'll see you guys next time from Live from the Shed. Here we go. Ron Bennington, Bobby Kelly, live from the shed. That's the shed right there. It's a real fucking shed. Look around. That's, a, that's my garden. There's my strawberries. There's the pirate ship I made. That's snow. Look over here. That's where Ron threw his coffee. Oh, that's, that's actually where he peed, right there, the brown stuff. Why are we still hugging? How's your liver?